to the base. I was hoping you'd prove yourself more with a lightsaber, but it's certainly a great help. Are you ready to go to ISIS yet? Kelborn told me that they were covert military and probably aligned with Colonel Tobin from ISIS. Kelborn doesn't think they'll send out any more scouts, but that doesn't mean there aren't more of them out there. Colonel Tobin is General Vaclu's right-hand man. Despite his martial skill, he handles himself as a functionary more than a warrior. Back when we were fighting Vaclu's resistance during the Mandalorian Wars, Vaclu wouldn't have any use for a poisonous Kinrath like Tobin. But Vaclu seems to have adapted well to peacetime. When you were last here, you probably didn't even go to Onderon. The Republic knew that Onderon's fate would be decided on its jungle moon to begin with. It depends on who you ask. They disagree about many things. I don't blame you. They're a sad... Are you ready to go to... For the last time, no. Because you're programmed to force your opponent to go first, and nothing will convince me the computer doesn't cheat. Even if I didn't have to go first and somehow I didn't suspect you of counting cards, I still wouldn't play with a trash compactor. Yeah? What do you mean, Paza? This is Ronto Scrag. What house? Yeah, well, I'm still not. Warning. If you draw another plus minus one card. This droid is cleaning. Sure, but I don't have any more credits to bet, so it's. Re I wish to show you something. Not with words, but by feeling it. With the Force. Close your eyes. Feel the universe. Strip away the life on board the ship. Someone is creating an echo. A resonance in the Force. Someone is consuming life, using it to feed their hunger. Each dying world creates an echo in the Force. And as the echoes build, it becomes a noise. Deafening. Destructive. It touches all life in ways that are invisible to see. The darkness, the despair. Cr a critical point is a... Something up? All right, I'm game. What did you want to show me? Something up? Well, you've got that look in your eye. Got it. Something up? Uh, uh. All right, I think I've got... Something up? All right. I'm... All right. Something. Up. Oh yeah. All right. I... Something up. Something up. Yes. Is something wrong? Yes, General. Sorry, General, I'm flat. Something else. About time you 
showed up. Mandalore ordered me to report here and escort you wherever you... Follow me then. Isis yet? I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore. All systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? <laughs> it is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart you mean scattered, broken, and lost, then yes, you are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again, united as one clan under one banner. Mine. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade. After the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi, such a defeat was merciful, an echo of the end, when your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V, and I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the huts. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again, I promise you. That is the future. Indeed. The future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no New Age Mandalore, no great Mandalorian crusade. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since, a quiet death that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me, a man wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi whelp are going to keep you safe from me? No, Mandalore. You are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even when they abandoned you. Do you wonder where she wanders now, Mandalore? Why she gave you your orders, then abandoned you at the edge of the galaxy? How do you know that? I know many things, and I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. She is important to me, more important than anything. Show the same loyalty you have shown in the past, Mandalore. If there is a Mandalorian crusade, let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. The one I travel with has walked your same path, and I ask that when the end comes that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. Forget the Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. Mm. One, two, three. Mandalorians, we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our perimeter. Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Our enemy has tracked us here. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help.
Take care of cleaning up the mess. Vaklu saying that the Republic ship attacked first? That's madness! Unfortunately, lie or not, it's a madness people will believe. The timing of this is atrocious. A space battle above our skies? So many of our fighters lost? Curiously, only Tobin's men were involved in that battle. That shooter! Strong word, Your Majesty. But there is no good time for news like this. I recommend we continue with our plan. But won't that bring even more followers to Vaklu's side? Increasing his power? For a time, perhaps. But we both know he's not the true threat. It's his unseen support from the shadows that we must drag out into the light. Then, and only then, can we strike. 
I fear by then it will be too late. Here we are, the city of ISIS. It's been shut down tight for months now. General Vaklu is close to declaring martial law. We won't be able to travel too far in the city. Fortunately, I have a friend in this quarter of the city. He's a doctor by the name of Dagon Ghent. His office is on the other side of the market square. It might be best if you do the talking around here. The Andoronians have a mixed view of Mandalorians after we conquered their world. I have a question. You fought with Revan and Malak during the Mandalorian Wars. Why? We'd never faced Jedi before, and didn't know the threat they represented. You've always been in the Jedi Order. Things that are common knowledge to you are rumors and stories to the rest of the galaxy. We only knew what we had seen in Holovids and from our experience with... We thought we would triumph easily over such noble and... What did you... And that is how we thought of you. Not of the Jedi in particular. You turned a demoralized, defeated mess into a co- Ever consider what would have happened if the Sith would have been nothing more than a border skirmish against them? We would have brought a new age of strength and ex- Look around you. I ask you this. Is- Just think of- Now is there some- I thought that the- That's a good position for a warrior. Here you go. Now is- It's been a while since you've docked here, eh? I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. Oh, it must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The block... Your manifest says it's been two months since you last came here. Nothing new. All Republic vessels must... Bad days. Bad... Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods. They're strict... Certainly. Mind what I say. General Vaclu was an underground res
Fair winds to you, Offworlder. The winds still taste of mis. I am a beast rider. We keep hoping that Ethorians or Telosians get through the space for. Our people have been in ancient time, but our ancestors. But two generations ago. But now things are. Many beast riders have fallen to the city way. The beasts stir from the. No one is. They have been kept in their cage. Perhaps it is the city itself. Calm. Run! Since my first Drexel have I lost control of The beasts grow more agitated, as... as you've just seen. Please keep them. I again apologize for the Boma attack. Yes? Is something wrong? Of course. I try to treasure these men. That is...
Halt, off-worlder. You'll have to end. What is your... Uh, why not? I can see you have no crates or... You're free to go. Don't lose your starport visa.